Hi everyone, my name is Adam Peterson. I'm a teacher from Illinois and we are taking science outside today to make a solar oven s'mores experiment. To do this exploration with your students, you need seven things. You need a cardboard box that has a top cut out to make a little lid like that. You need a piece of aluminum foil. You need a paper plate to set your item on. You need some plastic wrap to cover your oven. And then you need the three ingredients to make s'mores. You need some graham crackers, some chocolate, and a marshmallow. To get started with this experiment, we're gonna build our oven by using the lid of our box and wrapping it with foil to use as our reflective surface that will direct the heat into our oven. Just like that. Next, we're gonna build our snack on our paper plates. So we're gonna place one graham cracker, our chocolate bar, our marshmallow, and our other graham cracker to build our s'more. Then we are gonna place our paper plate with our snack on it inside our oven box, just like this, and cover it with our plastic wrap. Okay, I've got my oven built and my s'more is inside. I'm super excited to try this out. I'm gonna place this on a table. I'm gonna leave it in the sun for 30 to 60 minutes. It's a beautiful day today. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna aim this foil directly towards the sun so it can bounce off of the foil. The heat will go inside our oven. The plastic wrap will act as a trap to keep the heat inside. And hopefully, if this works, we'll cook the s'more within. So let's get this in the sun and see what happens. So for this experiment, we are using the principle of converting solar radiation into heat by using our reflective surface to direct our heat source into our oven and the plastic wrap to trap the heat inside, thus creating a warm environment to cook the item. Okay, so this has been sitting here for almost 60 minutes. We're gonna open this up and take a look and see how this has changed. And as you can tell right away, wow, this chocolate is super melted. Uh, and the marshmallow is actually very, very kind of sticky to the touch. So it started to melt a little bit. I cannot wait to taste this. So here is the result of our solar oven s'more. You can see just how gooey that chocolate has gotten and the marshmallow is very, very squishy. This has been a really fun experiment and I, you might as well eat it, right?